So it's currently looking more and more likely that we're gonna have two completely different hurricanes inside the Gulf Coast, both making landfall at the exact same time. And we have literally never seen this before. So we have Tropical Storm Laura, which is coming in from the east and expected to strengthen into a category one hurricane as soon as it hits those warmer waters within the Gulf Coast. And at the same time, we have Tropical Impression 14, which was recently upgraded to Tropical Storm Marco and expected to also strengthen into a hurricane as soon as it enters into the Gulf Coast. And the last time we've ever seen anything like this was September 5th, 1933, when we had a hurricane and a tropical storm both in the Gulf Coast and both making landfall at the same time, but we've never seen two different hurricanes make a landfall at the same time. And so of course, it looks like 2020 is gonna be the first time we've ever seen this happen. And so the obvious question on your mind right now is probably what happens if the two hurricanes get too close to each other and actually collide? And yeah, there is a good chance that that could happen and that the two hurricanes could actually influence each other. And so we have seen hurricanes collide in the past and there's actually a name for what happens when they do. It's known as the Fuji Wara effect. Since both hurricanes are spinning cyclones, what happens is when they get too close to each other, they start influencing each other's paths. And it's really hard to predict exactly how they're going to influence each other, but it's very possible that the center of both hurricanes could veer off into different directions completely after they interact. So really what that means is that the last minute, either of these hurricanes could suddenly go in a different direction. And it's entirely possible that the two could change paths to where one makes landfall and then the other one makes landfall directly behind it. And it's also possible that they could collide and then make landfall directly next to each other. And hurricanes in general are already hard enough to predict their paths, but trying to predict what's gonna happen when two hurricanes collide, what direction they're gonna go into is virtually impossible. Now, another common occurrence when hurricanes collide is if one's significantly larger than the other, it can actually absorb the small one within the big one, and the small one may be downgraded to maybe a tropical storm or a tropical depression afterwards. So we really don't know what's gonna happen when both of these hurricanes enter the Gulf of Mexico. But personally, my biggest concern is gonna be the storm surge that both of these hurricanes produce. And the storm surge is the increased water level that usually is in front of a hurricane. As the hurricane approaches land, it's literally pushing the water towards the coastline, and you'll see coastal water levels levels rise significantly, usually by several feet. And the storm surge and subsequent flooding that precedes a hurricane is usually the most destructive force of the hurricane itself, and typically the number one cause of death related to the hurricane. When Hurricane Katrina made landfall in Louisiana, they saw a 28 foot high storm surge. So the coastal water levels literally rose by 28 feet right before Hurricane Katrina made landfall. Now, Hurricane Katrina was a category three and both of these hurricanes are expected to be category ones, but we really don't know what is gonna happen with the storm surge when we have two different hurricanes hitting and making landfall at the same time. It's very possible that they could make landfall side by side. And what we're gonna see is the storm surge is gonna be spread out over a longer distance. It's also possible that they could get in line with each other and make a landfall one after another, in which case you'd see an increased storm surge that could last several days rather than just one day or so. Both scenarios are really not all that great. And my personal prediction is that we're gonna see that storm surge and increase water levels in the entire Gulf Coast. From, from Florida all the way up to Louisiana, all the way down to Mexico, you're gonna see the coastal water levels significantly uh, rise as the two hurricanes enter the Gulf of Mexico. Now, another big concern with two hurricanes making landfall at the exact same time is gonna be the allocation of emergency responders and emergency resources. We potentially may see every single state all along the Gulf Coast experience bad flooding. So after the hurricanes pass, you have to ask yourself, where is FEMA gonna allocate their resources? If the eye of the hurricane only passed through one major city, they could send resources down to that one major city. But FEMA may be spread thin as they're trying to send resources to all of the Gulf Coast states. The same goes with power companies as well. Usually if one state is really impacted by a bad hurricane, the different power companies will send uh, personnel from other states to help rebuild and kind of recover that one area. But now you have the entire Gulf Coast, which may be impacted by this hurricane, which means that the recovery efforts are just gonna move a little bit slower than they typically would. If you live in any of these Gulf Coast states, it is more important now than ever that you are personally prepared for these hurricanes. You should have enough food, water, and resources for you and your family to survive up to a week or so without any power. And just for the record, I am recording 
recording this on the morning of August 22nd, these storms can very quickly change power and change strength and change directions as well. So right now we have the potential for two hurricanes to make a landfall on the Gulf Coast at the same time early next week, but that can obviously change any day now. And if you're not sure how to prepare for a hurricane or what items you should be buying now to prepare, check out this video I did right here, breaking down the 10 items that I recommend all Americans store in their homes to be prepared for a major hurricane. And if you wanna learn more about prepping and survival, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching, good luck, and I'll see you over in the next video.